when I first started school. See, I uh, grew up on Chappaquiddick, and I never came to Edgartown except with my mother to go shopping. I didn't know a single kid in the first grade, none of them. And the first couple of days, I might just have been upon Mars. The whole thing, the school and everything, was a total new thing to me. I didn't know anybody, you know, nothing. I didn't know what school was all about. Because I was dark complexioned and didn't know anybody, they used to gang up on me and make fun of me and punch me around, push me around. And some of them used to call me a nigger and things like that, you know. And I'm a pretty easy going sort of a guy. And I used to look at them and wonder, what gives are these guys? What's the matter with them? You know, I got no real feelings toward them. And they used to keep it up. And I wasn't afraid to fight. I'm just kind of an easy going guy. So I came home one night and I told my mother about it. And she ran into the same thing when she came down here from Gay Head. She was only 14 and she had run into the same problem and she had to fight her way out of it. So she says, they always call me Millie, she says, Millie, you're going to have to fight, that's all. The only way you're ever going to stop it. Well, it went on and on and I didn't fight and one day I came home and my shirt or something was ripped. My little dad me and says, kid been picking on you again, huh, Millie? And I says, yeah. She says, did you... Uh, fight back? I says, no. She looks down at me and says, tonight's Friday, right? And I says, yeah. All right. She says, when you go to school Monday morning and those kids start picking on you again, which I'm sure they're going to do, and you don't fight back, when you come home Monday night, I'm going to give you another beating. My father was sitting over behind the stove in a rocking chair, and he leaned out around, and he looked, and he says, that's right. He says, that's just what's going to happen. Well, like I say, I wasn't afraid to fight, but I just okay. couldn't figure out what makes people, I still can't today, but anyway, I had all weekend to think about that one, so I went to school Monday morning, and I had pretty well set in my mind what was going to happen, so I was out, we used to have recess from 10.30 to a quarter to 11. At 15 minutes, we'd go out and run around, play tag. I was standing over the building all by myself, and up comes four of them. That's him. He never fights. Get him. Oh, he says, give him a good one. Go get him. Well, just about the time he jumped at me, I let fly, and I hit him. And I hit him five or six times right in the face, knocked him down, bloodied his nose, cut his lip. He got up and ran off, squalling the ball, and the other three, you know, me like this, and I turned around and looked at them, and off they went. I came home Monday night, and my mother says, what happened? And I told her. She says, that's what you got to do, she mm -hmm. says. I never had any more trouble, but after that, I got kind of accepted pretty well. I used to play the games with them and things, and get along pretty good then. But until then, boy, it was, it was a continual pick pick all the time you know your brother was older than you right I had two brothers older than me and had they gone through the same thing yeah my mother said they did yeah yeah didn't bother my sister so much I guess because she was a little more light complexion than we are and didn't show up so much in her we're all human beings you know what, what difference does it make really you know but that's still to this day don't understand what makes people like that